Hey people, so um, I, I was originally planning on shooting the video tonight for uh, these guys. Uh, there you get that right. These guys. Uh, but I decided to put that off tomorrow because it's going to be a more intricate video. I, I actually want to spend time um, shooting several different setups and doing it properly. Uh, but I got a set of questions. It's not one question. It's actually uh, at least three, three separate questions. Um, but really is actually four questions. And I don't think the person realizes they did that. Um, the qu so the question uh, they asked was about the BDSM flag. Uh, here's a couple little things. Uh, there is no BDSM flag. Let's make that very clear. Uh, there is a variation of that flag, which is actually the leather pride flag. Um, that flag is the original flag. Um, since then, uh, there's been variations of the, um, of the leather pride flag, um, which I happen to have uh, some stuff. So that is a leather pride flag. Okay, uh, this is actually made by my mom, so I'm very proud of that, um, which eventually uh, one of these will end up uh, on my leather vest. Um, but this was a flag that was created uh, specifically for the le gay leather community. Uh, I'm going to be do I'll do a video on this symbol by itself. Uh, there is a lot of information about this that needs to be done, okay? But when it comes to symbols for BDSM specifically, oh, yeah, that symbol. That symbol right there, if you search BDSM symbol, this is what you will find, okay? Um, there is actually also a good bit of information about this. Uh, the origin of this, where this came from, and it's going, you know, I'll do a completely separate video about this. Um, since then, there has been a one that has been uh, more specifically for uh, the straight kink community, which is this flag, or specifically that flag. Um, <laughs> sorry, I was holding it the wrong way. Uh, this is the master, master and slave pride flag. Um, this one, uh, it's, it's a little, little off. I actually have a better version of it down here. Um, that, that flag, Let's see if we can get it straight. Uh, this one also has history. Um, why, you know, why is it red and black? Uh, red and black, why are there one vertical line, why is there three horizontal lines? Um, same thing with, you know, why is it a red heart? Why is it a black, you know, why is it black, you know, blue, specifically navy blue? Um, why is there white? Okay, there is actually history to all of this. Um, so those will be videos that I'll be doing shortly. Um, I will be trying to get a lot of information out in as short a period of time as I can. Um, because like I said, I have, that's, that's at least right there, just dealing with that. That's three separate videos. Uh, there's actually, um, a, the, the next thing that she brought up was that she was at a local munch and one of the girls was wearing, uh, a black, uh, some black cloth around her um wrist and somebody made a mention of this is how they people would you know identify what you are in the lifestyle um before things like fed um n not really uh unless you were in the gay the gay leather scene specifically uh because that was bandana coat or hanky coat uh that is again its own separate topic um quick thing is is that uh, each of the colors would have their own meaning. Um, different types of bandanas, different styles of bandanas uh, would have their own meaning. Whether you wore it on your left side, whether you wore it on your right side, that had a meaning. Um, 
so yeah, that is that's a whole separate thing. Um, as far as prior to FET, how did uh, people get to know each other? Um, that is something I will talk about in this video, even though I know I'm five minutes in. Um, the thing is, is that there really wasn't a way. Uh, it was kind of one of those, you know, you know, knowing look kind of things. Uh, munches are a relatively new thing. Uh, munches did exist before FET, but not, you know, you, but again, they're relatively new. Uh, they, you had to know somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody and you were able to get into, a, get into a club or get into an event. Um, you had, you know, you was, saw a, uh, article in a magazine, you met somebody at a bookstore, uh, or you saw a, a, a little ad in a, in a, you know, in a, in a magazine or a local newspaper and you got that wink, wink, knowing kind of thing because, that's a whole other subject uh, when it deals with uh, the postal system, the U.S. postal system uh, and kink. Um, that's a whole other whole other topic. Um, yeah, it was difficult. It was really, really difficult. I, I mean, I got in prior to the internet really being a thing. And it was kind of happenstance that I happened to know somebody who was in the lifestyle who I was able to get involved with it from that way. It was not super easy. You didn't just, you know, go, you know, go out and go, go somewhere and say, hey, I'm kinky. I want to try something kinky. Can somebody tell me where the kinky stuff? You didn't do that. It was one of those very underground, very secretive, you know, I mean, because there was times where uh, when they tried poking their head above ground and immediately got stomped back down. Um, again, I think all of this is is uh, really, you know, really important information. Um, that again, I, I'm i probably about five or six videos just from this one thing, uh, not realizing what, <laughs> exactly what it is she was asking. Um, this is one of the reasons why I like doing these videos. Um, I, again, I think each of these deserve their own topic. Um, I will try to get into that. I will get into the early, earliness of the BBS boards, uh, what happened with AOL, um, what happened with the postal system, uh, the, uh, the rise of the, the, uh, Hanky system or, um, uh, uh, the, um, the, what the hanky code is, what uh, what this this flag represents, uh, what this flag represents, and what this symbol means. So, yeah, <laughs> it's been an interesting uh, interesting night for me. I wasn't planning on doing this, but this is just some great info. Uh, so yeah, uh, stick along with me for the next couple videos. We'll see where we go. That's it for now. Be well and safe.